So this is a link that y'all went on, good or bad, that you will never forget. I got it. It's real quick, real easy. Now I'm mad because it was bad because I didn't get any. That's why I was bad. So this is in 2019, and I met this dude. At this point in time, I'm living with my parents, and dude living with his parents. I met this dude off of Tinder, and we're going to call him Chicago because that's, that's the name. That's what's up here. So me and Chicago, we're talking for a little bit, and everything's going cool and everything, and we meet up a couple of times. And the first time we met up, it was cool. The second time we met up, it was cool. And like the third time, that's when we actually started like doing stuff, and then most I did was give him fellatio. That was really it. So then one day, me and Chicago were like, yo, like we trying to do the deed. Like, at that point, he basically was telling me like he trying to do the deed, and I was trying to do the deed. But we both lived with our parents but my parents was gone for the weekend but all I had to worry about was how the hell I'm gonna get him in here with these cameras figured it out real quick nothing a little unplug won't do <laughs> unplug froze up I ain't have to worry about shit but you know I tell like no dude you know like you know in route like come on let's go like let's get it done because I didn't want the neighbors to see my parents was real good with the neighbors and I didn't want my neighbors being those so dude come in and everything he go upstairs and everything unscathed my parents still don't know to this day he, he was in there but you know we go upstairs we're chilling we're talking and everything you know like you know being a little nervous and then we get like get into it so at first you know I give him a little fellatio then he give me you know he munching down he be my little munch he was my munch that day and then when he was doing that you know after he was done eating yeah like you know he was doing that he was kissing me and he was, yeah, he was fingering me. I didn't know how that felt like. That, that was new to me. I was trying to feel what that be like. And that man was in there. And that thing felt good. I'm going to tell you right now, that thing felt great. And because he knew what he was doing. And that was great. And then after that, after we did all that, it went to, you know, what we're going to do. So, you know, he's like, you ready and everything. I was like, yeah, I'm ready. He was like, you know, you got a condom. I was like, okay, I got the condom. Got the condom, brought it out. He's like, you got lube? I said, man, I got lube. Man, I lathered that shit down like it was a fucking glizzy. I ain't going for it. I ain't going for it. Like, I was ready to get it down. So, he loses it up. He loses me up and everything and all that kind of stuff. And he's like, how you want to do this on your stomach or your back? I said, let me do it on my back. Like, at that time, being on my back was, like, my best friend. Like, I could do that real easily. So, then this time, like, he tries to put it in. But it wasn't, like, no little... Ooh, pain. It was like a, ah, pain. Like, it was a sharp pain, y'all. So, I'm like, ooh, ooh. I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on. Thinking that maybe it's just, it's been a while. And he's like, are you good? I'm like, yeah, like, you just need to, like, come out and go in slow again. He's like, all right, I got you. So, he does just that. He's doing just that. And this thing is still hurting, y'all. Like, hurting bad. And then next thing you know, why does man pull out? And he's like, oh, you're bleeding. I'm wet. I'm what? He was like, you're bleeding. Y'all, I got up so fast and went into the fucking bathroom. Got a tissue, wiped it, full of blood. It was just the whole, it was just full of just one streak. It wasn't like it was a streak in a little bit. No, full blown bleeding. And I was like, oh my God, like what's going on? What's going on? So I got my finger and I stuck my finger up there. Y'all, why that man cut me with his fingernail? Over here me yeah he cut me with his fingernail and when he was trying to put it in he was stretching the cut and that's why i was bleeding because the cut was getting expanded and basically was tearing and yes dudes one on one one was wada wah wah but goddamn long story short he ended up going home. We ended up not fucking we ended up not doing this shit. i think the most i did was give him head until he nutted and that was it y'all when I tell you guys, I was so hurt. I was so hurt. Nothing hurts more than not getting the weed -a whacker from somebody you really wanted the weed -a whacker from. And you was about to get the weed -a whacker from. And you ain't get the weed -a whacker. But yeah, that was my story. By the time I got, I got, till I teared. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, th th that's the story. Goodbye. Because as a girl, that's what you got to deal with. You got to make sure them nails clipped, honey. What are we doing? That's why they stay clipped. <laughs> Ain't no nails here. Cause, um, but no, nah, that's why I, a lot of reasons why I don't want, no, no. Like, what are we doing? Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't, don't put your fingers on me. Like, what? The There's some females that just know how to do it. You know, when you have nails, you got that knuckle. That's why you got that knuckle. Cause I used to be a girl who wore, wore nails. So yeah, there was ways around that. You just got to be careful. I'm over here, not me over here trying to tell people how to, you know, do the do with nails. But if you have nails and you're a lesbian, you know, you know, like, we know what we're doing. That's wild. But sometimes you do hit that spot. You know, when you hit that spot, that patches, that patch of skin and it's just elastic. It's like you're hitting a rubber base. It's a rubber. But yeah, friend, I'm so sorry that you didn't get none that day. 
he talking about you know what hurts the most that cut in your maybe no no the fact that i ain't get none friend get better heal heal first <laughs> if he like you if that the um fellatio what did he say fellatio <laughs> if the head was good he'll come back <laughs> it's okay you'll have part two <laughs> but i'm sorry for you fred you were hurt you know that's like the worst thing to see when you're doing to do blood mm. blood and poop apparently blood and poop Okay, so a while back, this girl messaged me on Instagram and she asked me to come out for her 26th birthday. Obviously, I said yes, it's tonight, and I just checked into my hotel. It's gonna be me, her, and her best friend, and we're going to some really fancy bars, so we're getting all dressed up and wearing all black. I just realized I forgot my freaking curling iron. Now I have to go buy one, I'm so pissed. I literally just went and bought a curling iron, came back, washed my hair, and realized I don't have a brush, or clips, or hair product, or underwear! <laughs> I am really just winging it tonight. <laughs> okay, I gotta get ready. I'm literally combing my hair with bobby pins right now, and it's working. <laughs> this curling iron is bringing me back to like eighth grade. <gasps> oh! Okay, it's a little much, but I think it works. My makeup is done. I'm gonna put lashes on when I get to their hotel, but first I'm gonna get dressed and then call an Uber. I know this lighting sucks, but this is my outfit for tonight. <laughs> I got her a little birthday girl crown and this bottle of wine because she posted on her Instagram story that it's her favorite. And it was not cheap, so I'm gonna make her share it with me. <laughs> I'll post their outfits on my Instagram story and probably updates throughout the night. So happy Sunday. <laughs> that was cute. I love that fair faucet hair. We love that for you, friend. Very looking great. That was cute. I See, this is why I have so much stuff when I pack. When I drop it, like, love, you're only going for a day. Yeah, you never know what you're going to need. I'm surprised I didn't have a curling iron, a curling iron in your hotel room, like in the bathroom. That's interesting because when I go, there'll be a little bag of a curl. Well, what's is it a straightener? Well, shoot, you can curl your hair with a straightener. Like, you just make it do. She just made it do what it do. Okay, <laughs> innovative. Like, let's get some bobby pins and curl my hair. You did that. I'm proud of you. I am that person sometimes I forget well it's not that I forget it's just I can't fit it in my bag so I just be like okay well when I get there I'll go to a Walmart and get what I need it's usually sunblock it's like oh I can't fit my sunblock in my bag okay that's cool I can just go go to the Walmart and get me some sunblock but you're very attentive honey it's like oh I saw that because I don't go on people's stories you saw that that's her favorite wine on her story it was like oh let me go get it like that's really that's a a flex honey she gonna remember that like oh how'd you know this is my favorite wine um yeah i just i just i drink this so yeah i just thought you know and this is expensive yeah anything for you honey <laughs> finesse that finesse the crap out of that make people you know i said you get brownie points in people's lives so yeah that's that's lit hope y'all had fun so i redownloaded grinder last night and i had the most bizarre hookup experience of my life. Well, that isn't true. However, it's the weirdest thing that somebody could have done in the situation given to them. And plus, they seemed like a normal human being, so I just didn't assume that they would do something so ludicrous. Though looking back at the red flags before they came over, I do understand that something could have happened potentially much worse than what did happen. So I redownloaded the app. And I get this message from somebody saying, Hey, I sent you a message um, a couple of months ago. We used to talk and I didn't remember them. However, I was like, oh yeah, 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 what's up? How are you? They sent me a picture of them. They were decently attractive. They gave me their snap. They proved that they were real. So we started being a little bit more flirtatious, you know, because there's a lot of people on Grindr, but most of them are bots, fakes, catfishes. So when I can validate that somebody's real, all hands on deck, okay? We started seeing who was gonna host, who was gonna travel. I was like, I'm alone tonight. You're more than welcome to come over. We can watch a movie, we can chill, we can have some fun. Um, and then they were like, yeah, well, could you pick me up? And I said, no. And they were like, well, I just don't have a car right now. Like I'm visiting from Ohio. And I said, I don't care. I'm not picking you up. I'm really sorry. Uh, you can get an Uber. That's more than welcome. You can do that. And it took them about 20 minutes for them to say, fine, I'll get an Uber. Which again, red flag, I know. Random side fact, but I just got my gym equipment. So I finally have a gym belt, wrist bands, and knee sleeves. What a good day.
Anyways, back to the story. This person comes over, and when I let them in, they have bags. They have a duffel bag, they have a backpack, and they're like ready to stay for a week, it looks like. They look like they're about to stay over for until Thanksgiving, which is flooring to me, because he already got an Uber here. So I questioned him about it, and he was like, oh, I just didn't want to leave it at my friend's house in case we needed anything. And I was like, what were we gonna need? Your shoes? Are we gonna go on a date? It's like, midnight but anyways i let him sit down we start talking and he seems like a normal human being all right the conversation between us on the couch seems very very chillax normal so i let it happen i just forget about the bags i'm okay and then we go into my room after about 45 minutes of talking and we do things that i can't explain on tiktok okay we get dark we get dirty we get steamy and when it's all over, we sit back down on the couch, we start watching Pirates of the Caribbean, we're cuddling, and I fall asleep. When I wake up, this man is gone, and so are his bags. Nothing seemed out of the blue in my apartment until I was just sitting down tonight, and I went to put one of my books back, and I realized on my bookshelf, one of my birds is missing. I had two of these little birds on my bookshelf, and now there's only one. And that caused me to start looking around at my other decorations. So I was like, well, if one bird is missing, maybe something else is missing. And I had a plush pillow, like pet, that was under my TV stand. That's no longer there. Um, my sister got it for me for Christmas. It's just like a little pizza maker, small plush pillow. And that is now gone. So he stole one bird and one plush pillow, but nothing else. And I just think that the most bizarre thing because i have money in this household i have jewelry i have expensive things that he could have taken and instead he goes you know what no i want a random bird and a plush pillow so if the algorithm ever finds this guy teddy i have messaged you you won't answer i want to know why you stole a bird and a plush pillow i don't even want them back you know what the plush pillow, some sentimental value. My sister gave it to me for Christmas, but my sister's still alive. I'll be okay without it. I'm just more so curious. Where, where was the incentive behind those two things? Because out of everything, it's just the weirdest things you could have taken. Whoa. So is it wrong that I'm still mad that you stole something? <laughs> okay, it's not the expensive stuff. It's not the money, but he stole something that was yours that wasn't his like i'm still a little peed off about that like that was a lot friend why do we invite him to your house why do we say oh i'm a alone at home why do we say this that's not okay you don't say this to people you don't remember meeting him honey remember you don't remember so we're gonna meet in public we're gonna get a hotel we're gonna let people know where we are we're gonna leave our location on we're gonna tell the front desk hey I'm about to meet somebody that I just, I really don't know. Cause I've done this before. I'm gonna meet somebody that I really don't know. <laughs> so, you know, you can periodically come check or call the room and make sure I'm okay. So, okay. Friend, let's be safe. Let's be safe. Cause it, literally you fell asleep with this dude that you just met. You never let your guard down because that's when you're the most vulnerable when you're asleep and you don't know this person, honey. Like, wow, he could have, thank God he didn't do worse. He could have, like, not stole anything but your life, you know. He could have stole your life from you. So very grateful, thank God, that you're okay. And he just, I guess, he just took a, a, a bird and a pillow. Like, I, he still stole. Like, that's wow. You know I me, mean? I would have been able to find him. <laughs> me and my friends, we goons. We know how to find people, you know. But yeah, let's not do that again, okay? Cool, yeah, nice. I am back with another story time. This one's even fucking crazier, and you're not gonna fucking believe it. But, um, you guys like the other one so much, so I have a lot of shitty stories and a lot of cool and whatever stories to tell so maybe you guys can get a good laugh out of it maybe get some good ideas i don't know i don't want to know anyway let's get into it so this story time is gonna be about the first time i strapped somebody else so i was the one doing it strapping you know so let's get into it first of all this was what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you guys while doing the deed all right, y'all, so this was some years ago, okay? So this was years ago, like a good, like, four years ago. So I used to have a tongue ring. I took it out about 
a year and a half, two years ago. I didn't like it. It just wasn't fitting what I was going for aesthetically. I took it out. Anyway, me and my ex was doing a do. I was giving some fellatio with my tongue ring in. Um, and as I'm going, I'm not knowing that the ball is like unscrewing. So I'm going in, doing what I got to do. And then all of a sudden I stopped. I was like, oh, man. And she's like, what happened? And I was like, my tongue ring fell. Like it came apart. And she was like, oh, where's it at? And I was like, I have to get it one second. So as I'm getting it, she was like, oh, it fell apart in my... And I was like, it sure did. So I had to scoop it out, re-screw it back in. But she was laughing at me. And yeah, it was it was mega embarrassing, okay? Mega embarrassing. That is funny. <laughs> at least you found it, bro. At least you found it, boo. At least you found it. Because that would have been interesting. Like, tell me go, it's lost. Did you sanitize it? Well, I guess it don't really matter. I guess it don't really <laughs> But that is wow. I've been with people, I've been with females that's had, you know, downstairs peers. And it's just like, oh, it's something for me to play with while I'm playing. <laughs> but I'm glad you found it. And everything was cool. <laughs> you can put it back in. <laughs> Ignore this terrible lighting, but I have to tell you the funniest story. If you know, you know, I am a very sober person. I don't drink and I don't smoke. But once in a while, I'll have a little bit of a gummy if I'm needing to just like calm down a bit, um, especially in the evenings. And so two nights ago, I take like half of a gummy because I'm like, I'm just feeling like I need to wind down a little more and it helps me do that. And so I'm in bed. I'm like ready to sleep. I have my literal eye mask on that says, let me sleep on it. My little silk eye mask. I'm like in the fetal position. I'm ready to go to bed. And then it hits me. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. And then the weirdest thing happened. I just started like really conceptualizing. I don't know if that's the right word. But like conceptualizing the fact that I'm gay. I was just laying there with my eye mask on like, girly, you're fucking gay. Like you're gay. And I literally laid there for like 45 minutes being like, this is the craziest thing. Like you like girlies, like you like titties. And I was just, I was floored in the best kind of way. But it was like I was discovering it about myself again for the first time. And so that went on for about 45 minutes. I just really couldn't believe it myself. I was too stunned to speak. And then I fell asleep. So <laughs> nice. Friend, you was extra high. You was high to the high degree. High to the umpteenth degree. You was high. I've had those moments when I was high. It was just like a realization. It's like, oh my glob. Do, do other people know this? Do other people know this? <laughs> so I'm glad you had that moment with yourself. Because I don't think I don't think enough people have that moment. I don't think a lot of people come out to themselves that often. It's just like they be in denial and not really after they come out to other people, it's like wait yeah i'm gay i'm 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 really this this is really happening right now <laughs> love that for you fred so i'm in the locker room at my gym and i decide to use the clothing optional jacuzzi so i go to the jacuzzi and there's already a guy sitting in there so i ask if i can join him he says yes i turn on the jets and hop in now keep in mind this guy was gorgeous like just so pretty but giving me such straight vibes so i'm sitting in there and I did notice that he was like looking at me a couple times. Like I'd look at him and he'd look away. And he made eye contact with me too many times for a straight guy. So I theorized that maybe he's not completely straight and I decided to test this theory. So I sit up on the side of the jacuzzi and he has a great view. Let's just put it that way. And I noticed that he's looking again. So I look away and he looks away and then I'm kind of looking over here and out of the corner of my eye, he is staring. He is staring. Oh, I thought it was pretty exciting that he was staring. So I had to get back down into the jacuzzi before he noticed that I thought it was pretty exciting. I think he noticed. So I sit back down in the jacuzzi and I brush my knee up against his. He didn't really move it, but he kind of did. So I waited about 20 seconds and I pushed my knee up against his again, kind of laid back, you know. And he left his knee there. So now our knees are both resting against each other in this jacuzzi. So I'm like, all right, he's gay or bi, something. So I grab his leg and start pulling it up to me and he pulls it back, which I was a little confused about. He stayed a little bit longer and he smiled at me and then he got up and went and used the shower. So he goes back to the changing area. So I get out of the jacuzzi and go to the changing area to get my razor. I, 
I didn't even shave. I just needed to get something so that I could go say hi to him. And there was somebody nearby, so I couldn't, I couldn't like directly ask him what I wanted to ask him. So I was like, and he was like, no. And I was like, and he was like, <laughs> so he's a little gay. And as I'm leaving, I'm like, hey, do you want to get my number so we could maybe meet up and hang out sometime or something? Just casually. And he's like, oh, like, I'm sorry, I have a girlfriend. And I was like, oh, okay, no worries. He's like, but if I didn't have a girlfriend, I totally would. And I was like, totally get it. Don't worry. And I started walking back away. And he goes, but I'll see you in the jacuzzi again next time. It's not cheating on your girlfriend to look at another guy in the locker room, is it? I don't know. Anyways, the moral of this story is don't not hit on a guy just because you think he's straight. You gotta test those waters. They're all a little curious. Not the moral of the story is turn people out. <laughs> oh man, this is the opposite of what lesbians be saying. <laughs> what? That's wow. But yeah, that was interesting. But yeah, um, friend, you was testing water. But if it was farting back, I, I'm. That's the well. I don't know. I feel like it's different with guys than it is with girls. But it might be all the same. It might be all the same. But yeah, he had a girlfriend, honey. <laughs> what you doing if you got a girlfriend? Why we me knocking? What we doing? <sighs> Why you sitting in the jacuzzi naked with me? <laughs> judgment do you boo because you know he wants you if he did have a girlfriend he would have tried he would have tried it i mean he kind of did like he was looking so yeah i guess it's not cheating to look is it cheating to look by yourself not cheating it ain't cheating to look together but if you're by yourself and you thinking about it and you're gonna take that thought home to me bring the thought home to me then yeah, that's cheating that's cheating i think thank you guys for watching before you go subscribe